Hey guys, thanks for watching again. Um, so this is, I guess, video two. Um, one of the things that I want to do um, is discuss the topic of holsters. Um, there are plenty of holsters out there. Everybody has their opinion. Um, in a SHTF, you know, some people will consider um, concealed carrying. Others want to open carry. Others want to look all tactical and fancy looking. So we're going to talk about the different types of holsters and their options and their pros and cons. So the first one I want to talk to, to you guys about is this. This is my Crossbreed holster. It was intended for my Glock 17. I currently have a Glock 22 uh, Gen 4. It fits perfectly. Um, this would be a concealed carry. Um, the yes and Z crossbreed holsters, the, their logo. Uh, I really like it. Um, as you guys can see, it's starting to have some sort of shape to my body. That's the back of it. Um, so, uh, they put your name and your order number on the thing, so I'm not going to show you that. Uh, anyways, uh, great holster. Um, one of the problems that I have with it is that if I'm sitting down, um, because I don't have the J clips or anything like that, sometimes it will pop a little bit, and depending on the type of clothing that I have, my gun will actually stick out a little bit, so it's kind of like it's sticking out a little bit, um, and you can tell like if, you, if you're concealed carrying. Um, <clears throat> so, great holster, okay for concealed carry. Uh, one of the things as far as you know, bugging out with a holster is that this would not be very suitable. Um, most people have either these tactical bags or these um, hiking backpacks, rucksacks, whatever you want to call them, and a lot of them have the strap that goes around your waist which is a must because what it does it distributes the weight to your to your hips uh, not all of it just a big portion of the weight I think it's what 70 percent something like that of the weight of the backpack is distributed to your hips which is what you want because you don't want the weight all the weight on your back or else it's gonna kill you um, so when, when you have this type of holster the strap and again this would be like Kind of like on your on your butt cheek, almost. Um, that strap kind of goes around here, so now it, it one it makes it really hard to access this to your weapon, and on top of that, you know you got your belt, which is holding this onto you. So weird noise coming out from the outside. Anyways, and then you have the uh, backpack belt. Uh, and it makes it really, really uncomfortable. And it gets really, really old really, really quick. So there are some downsides to in waistband holsters. Um, mostly that, you know, the the belt of the backpack or the the distributes the weight is going to get in the way. So uh, not really fond of this. Next, we're going to talk about... Um, this I bought at a gun show. Uh, it is a shoulder holster. Um, this actually fits my Glock perfectly, and it's also big enough to if you have a tactical. Excuse me, if you have a tactical light or a tactical light with laser, um, it'll fit fit here perfectly. Um, it's got this. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's supposed to like absorb oil and stuff like that. Um, so if you have like residue oil from cleaning your gun, um, most of these other holsters will, I guess the oil or whatever type of lubricant you're using can cause them to wear a lot faster. I can't remember the name of the company that I bought this from. I know they're made in America. Um, it looks like a very flimsy holster. Anyways. Um, it's got these straps, so if you're wearing suspenders or like a belt, you can actually attach it like that, and then this will go around your belt. 
So if you're running, this doesn't go up and down, up and down. Um, the only thing I don't like it is that I wish it was adjustable. So if you were, you know, uh, a much more taller person like myself, uh, you can actually move this up and down and adjust it to your belt. Uh, but it does have bungee, so you got that option. Now, on the other side, you have two magazine uh, pouches, which I need to take this one out. This is a Glock 17 magazine. Fully loaded. Okay. Um, now, the problem that I have with this type of holster, and again on the other side, you also have the little bungee thing that goes around your belt, so in case you're running. Um, anyways, the problem that I have with this type of holster, as far as bugging out and everything else, is that if you are bugging out, um, you need a thick shirt, um, jacket, hoodie, something like that, to where this actually is nice and concealed under your armpit. It doesn't stick out. Um, I really didn't like this at all. Uh, recently, I went bike riding with my girlfriend, and it was kind of chilly, so I knew I wanted a hoodie. And I was wearing shorts, not like you know, jean shorts or cargo shorts, just regular uh, like basketball shorts. And I didn't have a way to carry a gun. And when you go to downtown, I mean, you definitely want to carry a gun, uh, especially since I can conceal carry. Um, so this actually came in handy. Like I had this on me, um, the extra, extra magazine. Um, I had my hoodie on me, and you could not even tell. But if we're talking about bugging out and stuff like that, what the problem that you come across is though, if you were to put this on yourself on on you, and you were to put your backpack on you, um, this will actually cut into the shoulder strap of the backpack. So let's say this is on your way is it okay uh, well okay let's say this is on your shoulder okay and you put the backpack on that shoulder strap will it's kind of kind of cut through here or here whichever one um, and I find that really really uncomfortable um, it's just it's like putting two shoulder straps, this one, and then you put another one on top of it. Um, I really don't like it. So, this, uh, not really. Um, yeah, not really. So, then, uh, but uh, one of the things that you guys can do, uh, for example, if you are bugging out, um, you can put this on your backpack. Uh, save it so let's say you get to a location and you're gonna go to town kinda check things out do some recon uh, you can always and you have a hoodie you can always carry this on you uh, so you can conceal carry so or you know if you don't wanna conceal carry and you wanna show off you wanna look all tactical and whatever you can put this on the outside and open carry so this has both options conceal carry open carry um, so I think for myself, what I will probably do is keep it. Um, we'll see though. We'll see. I don't know. Next, we have the super tactical, which, uh, yes, I am in my bathroom because I'm sick and I didn't have anything to do. So I'm shooting videos today. Next, you got the bad boy of bad boys. This would be your uh, Black Hawk droplet holster. Uh, this is to me SHTF. Fuck it, everything's going down the shit. You don't care if somebody sees it, whatever. Um, one of the things that I really like about this is this right here, the holster itself. Um, if you're open carrying. Um, even if you like having an in waistband open carry, 
somebody can actually come back from behind and pull it. I mean, all they have to do is just go and start shooting. I mean, that's what guns do. Pretty much all guns. You just cock it back. And you put one in the chamber and you're good to go. So, with this, you know, with the inexperienced person, they're just going to go for the handle. And they're going to try to pull this from me. And if you guys know about these holsters, you, you know, all you do is just put a little bit, uh, just a little bit of pressure. Like so. And pull back. Grab the handle. Put a little pressure and pull back. It's easy. It's natural. Um because when you're holding the gun you never put your finger inside the trigger guard and on the trigger you put it you know right where it's supposed to be in that sweet spot and this right here nails it so <clears throat> this type of holster is more for again just you don't care you know one of the things I like about this is very comfortable um, if you have a backpack, a boggle bag, inch bag, kit or dodge bag, whatever you want to call it, uh, your waist strap, your waist strap uh, will go around your waist, and this doesn't protrude with that. It actually, the only thing that you're going to have is these two connections, right, the ones that hook up to your belt, and that's it. You're not going to have anything on the inside that's going to, you know, you know go around the waistband. Um, you're not going to have an open carry holster that is going to go around the waist, around your waist that is going to prevent the waistband on the backpack uh, to, um, you know, conform to your body. Uh, so something like this, it's out of the way and it's open carry, but it's right there on your leg. Uh, it's, you can move this high uh, up and down, uh, high and low. To me, it's really kind of in between. So my hand touches, you know, the the handle or the the grip of the gun. So this, um, I would actually carry this in my buckle bag um, because again, if SHTF, uh, I don't want to have to mess with an in waistband holster when I'm trying to like mess with a gun and I have the backpack on me and I have the waistband of the backpack and I'm trying to get to access to my gun uh, this right here is perfect so this uh, would actually go with me um, and then lastly would be this this is my new urban carry holster um, this was right there urban carry Yep. Um, I thought it was called something else. Anyways, uh, oh my God, so much. this is made from 100% leather. It is made in America. America. Um, it's got a little pouch right here for your uh, concealed carry license. Um, and the way this works is very simple. Um, you put your gun in here. Like so. Put your gun. Uh, close it. This goes inside your what I call your your thigh. Um, so when you when you're sitting down, this would actually sit on top of your leg. Um, this kind of touch it. It's just right above my knee. Because um, I have this is the extra large. I have a Glock 22, and on the website that's what they recommend it. So that's what I went with. Um, I actually purchased this with this. This is big number four leather conditioner. Now, when this when I got this in the mail, this was stiff as fudge. Uh, I mean, it didn't have the flex, nothing. I mean. You pretty much bend it, and the whole thing bend it. They're like, I was afraid I was gonna break it if I went like this. Um, so, anyways, I started working with the with the leather conditioner. Um, after maybe a couple of minutes, uh, it started getting really nice and soft. Um, you know, I got the video. Uh, I'll be uploading of when I got this. 
Um, I've had this for a while now. Stitching, amazing. This is what you get when it's made in America. Now here you got a few. This is kind of like the end of the stitching. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, that's just the very end of the stitching. Other than that, it's it is and this is not coming apart. Okay, just want to clarify that. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Um, so pretty much the way that this works is um, you you put this your gun in here. Uh, put your belt through the first loop of your jeans, and then you there. This would be your second loop, your third loop. And then the fourth loop would be your the other loop inside your jeans or on the on your on your jeans. Um, they recommended that this be like two and a half, I think. Um, I've been using the 511 tactical belt, uh, which is amazing. Uh, which I believe is two and three quarters. So you guys can see the the thickness of this, and it it's worked perfect. Now the only thing I would say though, if you're using a thick belt, because um, they they say it on the website that it'll fit this size belt. Uh, and as you guys can see, it's sliding in. Okay. Now one thing you don't want to do is just like bam, just like rush it in because I mean it's gonna. You know, burn or damage the leather. So slowly, you know, just nice and slowly. You want to work it through. Um, it's not a race. And right now, I'm trying to do this so I can show you guys. When I got this in the mail, um, it, I had a really hard time getting it through this because this is a really thick belt. I can't remember if it's two and a half or two and three quarters. Anyways, um, really hard time after you know wearing it and, and whatever as you guys can see it's it goes in nice and smooth um, I don't want to start knocking stuff down um, okay um, so the way this works is this will actually be On your leg, like so. Um, you would actually uh, pull on this. I know it's kind of, you guys can go to the website, uh, Urban Carry Holsters. You pull on this, and because this is attached to your belt, uh, your gun is going to come out like so, and you're going to be able to grab the gun. Now, this. I do like. Uh, now, let's say you're bugging out. You got a bug out back, inch back. Um, because this sits on your leg, so this will be your leg, and here be your knee, kind of like that. So, your leg, your knee, leg, knee. Okay, so that's if you're sitting down. This sits on top of your leg, um, and it doesn't mess with your buggle bag. So if you have again that strap that goes around the waist of your buggle bag to distribute the load of your buggle bag to your hips, um, this doesn't get in the way because it's right on your leg. Um, and even when you're like standing or walking, this doesn't flap around at all. Okay. Um, so you know if you were to wanting to access your gun quickly you would undo the buckle on your buggle bag uh, and then again with a simple motion you will pull this up exposing the gun grabbing it and then you know whatever um, so this doesn't really protrude with your buggle bag uh, so this is actually huge for me I really like this the only problem that I have though is that if you're wearing like a light uh, jean, kind of like a wash jean, um, just regular type of jean, blue jeans, uh, you can actually tell that you know there's definitely something, and you know it might be 
uh, you know, like, hey, look, you know, I got a huge package, you know, but it's, you're done. Uh, if you're wearing darker jeans, it actually looks great on them. Uh, so I would suggest, you know, like, if you got, I have some 511 tactical jeans, um, those work great. Um, so something like this is perfect um, for bugging out, especially if you want to conceal carry. Um, just remember that blue jeans, light blue jeans and stuff like that, uh, not so much. I would go with like black, dark navy. Uh, you want to go with a gray mentality, um, like a dark gray, charcoal gray, uh, dark green, uh, navy blue, black, stuff like that. Um, and you're not going to be able to notice this at all. Uh, so this is definitely coming with me because regardless, I am going to have my um, 511 belt, which I just showed you. Um, so this will definitely go with me. And then as far as, you know, open carrying, concealed carrying, um, I would definitely carry the 511 Blackhawk Droplet Holster. Um, because again, that's also not in the way of the waistband belt on the buckle bag. Um, what else? That's it, guys. I think that's all I have. Yeah, I don't have any more holsters. So, thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, how do you plan on, on carrying your gun? Not your rifle. We're talking about handguns. How do you plan on carrying your gun in a situation where you have your buggle bag? It has a, you know, the, the, the waistband strap that distributes a load to your hips. Um, if you're open carrying, that's going to go around your holster and it's going to, you know, get in the way. If you're concealed carrying, same thing, it's going to go around your waist, around the holster. Um, if you're open uh, carrying, uh, like the shoulder strap, it's still going to get in the way. Um, or do you rather go with something like this, where it's right on your leg, or do you want to go with something like a droplet holster? Which is, um, which is uh, out of the way of the waistband strap, um, but it's also again open carrying. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys want to open carry, conceal carry? Uh, do you guys prefer to have like in waistband holster, droplet holster, shoulder holster? Um, one of the other things that I forgot to mention is I have another. I know I, I'm a huge tactical guy. I got a 511 vest, and it's got a pocket on the inside, and it's Velcro. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a Velcro holster where I can Velcro the the gun holster to the inside of the of the vest, and uh, that'll give me another option to conceal carry, um, where I can stick my gun into the holster of the vest. And because the vest is well made, it doesn't actually um, show a silhouette of the gun. Uh, so that's another option. So guys, thank you. Sorry for the long video. Um, it's been something that I've been wanting to talk to for a long, long time. Um, because a lot of people was like, oh yeah, this is my boggle bag. This is my gun. This is my rifle. This is all my gear. And they like, oh, well, how am I going to carry my gun? You know, most rifles, though carry it on inside the backpack or whatever but you know if you have a gun how do you how are you gonna carry it you know if you're gonna conceal carry with a crossbreed holster let's say it's gonna get in the way so it's an interesting topic um, I haven't heard anybody talk about that so thanks for watching guys